as I'm sure you're familiar with uh, states and cities giving all kinds of benefits to lure Amazon to build their second headquarters there. Our next guest does not agree with giving the company money in those kind of subsidies. His answer is invest the money in education instead. That's how you get Amazon to your state. Joining us now is uh, Richard Mandolino, Maryland State Senator and candidate for governor of Maryland. So welcome to the program. Good to have you, sir. Nice to be here with you, Stuart. I, I, I take your point, uh, and I, I, obviously it's a good idea to put the money into education, but that doesn't pay off for some years down the road. Amazon wants educated workforce now. What do you say to that? Well, that's the whole reason why they're looking at a place like Montgomery County, Maryland, is because we have amongst the best concentration of highly educated workers in the world. We are always, Maryland is always at the top with a percentage of adults with higher, with higher education degrees, bachelors, um, doctorates. Mm -hmm. So yep. we already have a unique um, environment to offer people here and to offer Amazon here. We just have to make it even better. What I'm, what I'm offering is a deal to say, let's work with Amazon and some of our other major employers and see what are the degree programs that we should be offering at the University of Maryland okay. or other higher um, ed facilities. Would you give them any kind of subsidies of, of any kind, like tax breaks on future well, income, anything, anything like that at all? Well, look, a Amazon is one of the most profitable companies in the world already. Um, why do they need actually subsidies from the people of the state of Maryland? What they need are high, highly educated workers to work in their facilities in order to drive their productivity in order to make them more profitable. And they need an, a, a, a base of people around the world who can afford to buy their products. So I think it was Henry Ford who said, I, I've got to pay my employees a, de a decent wage so that they can actually afford to buy the cars I'm, I'm producing. Okay. Amazon is sure. the same. Yeah, fair point, sir. Uh, you're a Democrat. That's and, true. <laughs> not, that's not an accusation, sir. You are a yes. Democrat. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not being pejorative here at all. No. But one of your themes um, on the left is income inequality. I mean, you, we don't like that. I understand that. But uh, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, is now the richest guy in the world. He's worth, what, $110, $115 billion. How do you feel about attracting someone who is so grossly unequal in terms of income? <laughs> Well, I'd love to have Amazon here. I mean, it is no surprise that Amazon is looking at a community like Montgomery County, Maryland, or like the 20 other or 19 other communities around North America that they've selected, because they are all communities that have spent a generation investing in public education, public infrastructure, public amenities. They have seen the connection yeah. in these 20 jurisdictions would, would, would between public policies. About, but will you answer that about income inequality and Bezos, richest man in the world? Well, I, I don't no think problem? Jeff Bezos is going to leave Seattle, quite frankly. So, um, and he already, as you well know, he already has a second home in the Washington area and is personally the owner of the Washington Post. And he so hates Trump, by the way. He has already, he has already made a place roots here in, in the Washington area, and we're hoping they'll go <clears throat> even deeper with Amazon. But we're looking to be a partner with him and with his company about building a strong ecosystem here, one that invests in workers and not just in more cash to the bottom line of Amazon. I mean, I wish Congress, Fair point. If, if you wanted to talk about, and I was listening to your prior interview with Representative Tenney, that if you want fraud, waste, and abuse, I would love Congress to step in and say, states, cities, municipalities, we have to stop giving okay. cash out to companies okay. and say, Sir, let's I, either invest I, in people or invest in tax cuts. Let's I'm, not just give it to companies. I'm terribly sorry I'm out of time, but it was a pleasure having you on the show, sir. Come back and it see was, you soon. I Thank would you, love to be back with you. Okay.